Hello guys, my name is Nori Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. In this video, I will show you how to make window lights in Photoshop. If you are interested in photo manipulation techniques or considering a career in digital art, make sure to like and subscribe as we put 5 videos a week. Let's roll to the video. Enjoy. In this video, I will be using stock images from Adobe Stock. All the links are going to be down in the description. So without any further ado, let's start with the tutorial. So the first step is to get a picture that was taken at the night time. So I'm going to do a quick transformation for this photo from the daylight to night. And that's by adding a color lockup adjustment layer. And let's choose moonlight after that let's add a curves adjustment layer and let's decrease the highlights so you still need to add the uh, night sky but it's just for the sake of the tutorial so the first step to do is for the for adding the uh, window lights is to select the window glasses so let's make a selection you can use any tool you want pen tool or any other tool i'm going to go with the uh, polygonal tool remember just to select the glasses not the whole window after you made the selection now let's add a curves adjustment layer and make sure you are doing that while the selection is active so now you can see that there's a mask of the selection we just made that means that that the curves layer is going to affect the uh, areas that we selected and now we are going to increase the light and that's by dragging this point to the left side till you get a nice results that gives you the feels that there's a light source in this room after that let's add a color balance adjustment layer and clip it to the curves adjustment layer and let's make a copy from it by clicking on ctrl g now that we have these two let's select the first one and set the blending mode to color and let's drag this point to the red let's make it all red in the highlights and the shadows and the midtones make sure not to go too far so it does look fake and for the second color balance we are going to set it to screen blending mode and this time we are going to choose yellow in the highlights and the midtones now let's hide this second color balance adjustment layer and let's select the first one and with a brush tool and black color and a flow set to five percent let's paint on the uh, harsh edges to hide it And then let's select the other one and with shift plus f5 while you're clicking on the mask area make sure it's on black and click ok now it's up to you if you want the light source to be on the floor or in the ceiling i'm going to select the floor as if the uh, light source is coming from the uh, desk or the uh, bed or any uh, area at uh, the uh, floor you know like the lamps on the uh, deck after that we are going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to the other layers and set the blender mode to color and you can play with the saturation and the color this one looks good Let's go to the second color balance and try to add a red color so this area doesn't look too white. That looks good. Now let's add a new layer and select the brush tool. Sample from the window to get the yellow color, the warm color. And with a flow set to 5%, uh, 
let's paint on the windows to give this flare feels to it and this is how you add the uh, window light you can go further and add the uh, reflection of the window on the floor and that's by going back to the selection that we made click on control so you see that square on the mouse and click on the mask now we are selecting the uh, glasses this is the first selection that we made select the lasso tool and click on the right mouse button and click on transform selection now drag the selection to the floor and let's try to match the perspective of the selection with the perspective of the uh, surface of the floor after you make that let's add a curves adjustment layer while the selection is active and let's drag this point to the left side let's not go too far and this time we are not going to use the color balance adjustment layer we are going to use the color channels here let's go to red and let's increase the reds in the mid tones and in the highlights and the same for blue let's decrease it this time because if you increase it is will so if you increase it will give us the blue color but we want the opposite of the uh, blue color which is yellow that's good now with a soft brush set to five percent flow and black color let's start to paint at the harsh edges to make it more believable and realistic and this is it let's add more reds now you can select the uh, glass again and add a new layer and with a uh, paint pocket tool just click on the selection to fill it with the color and then click ctrl t to transform it and click ctrl and hold it while you click on this point and drag it to the floor and do the same for this point just to fix the perspective just like that now let's blur it by going to filter blur Gaussian blur let's set it to 40 and then with the gradient tool make sure it's on the transparent gradient and select the black color mask the let's add a uh, mask to this layer and mask out the areas that's too harsh from the window and the floor and set the blender mode to screen and take down the opacity to like 50 and this is it for the method number one let's go to the method number two now for the method number two this is another way to add a window lights now we have these two images from adobe stock and we have this image of the window from the outside and we have this picture of the of this room from the inside what we are going to do is make a selection in this open part from the window i'm going to use the magic one tool for this let's fix this selection real quick while the selection is active let's click on the room picture and add the uh, mask from the selection and now the other uh, picture is going to be shown in the selection that we made let's click here to unclip the uh, picture from the mask and let's move it down just for the sake of the perspective now let's add the uh, night effect by adding a color lockup adjustment layer set to moonlight and then let's add a curves adjustment layer let's decrease the highlights just like we did in the first picture but this time i'm going to add 
and extra curves adjustment layer this time i'm going to decrease the mid tones select the soft brush and make sure it's on black color and let's increase the flow to 100 percent and let's paint on the middle just to give it a depth that's looking accurate now let's go to the second picture now let's add a color balance let's let's clip it to the uh, second picture of the room and let's add the red color and the mid tones and the shadows and the highlights let's add another one let's set this one into the color blending mode and this one to screen and we are going to add yellow to the yell to the uh, mid tones and the highlights now click on the mask areas and click on shift plus control plus f5 make sure it's black just to rehide this layer and with the soft brush set to 100% flow and yellow color let's paint in this area to give the feel that the lamp is on the uh, ceiling just like that let's duplicate the layer and fill it with black and paint closer to the uh, light source so this is it for the uh, lesson today how to add the uh, window lights i will see you in the next tutorial peace Thank you.